KBOI 2 News this morning. 613, a Republican win in Georgia means the GOP holds on to a pivotal House seat. It's a race the White House was keeping a very close eye on. Weech Jang explains how the win will affect Congress. Tonight, let's celebrate, and tomorrow, the real work will begin. Former Georgia Secretary of State Karen Handel won Georgia's sixth congressional district seat last night, becoming the state's first woman elected to Congress. My pledge is to be part of the solution to focus on governing. In his concession speech, Democrat John Ossoff seemed to claim a moral victory in making a close race of a county that has gone Republican since the Carter administration. At a time when politics has been dominated by fear and hatred and scapegoating, and division. This community stood up. Political analysts say Democrats will have to figure out a new strategy to win back the House. Democrats, you know, have to either redouble their, their, their efforts at those kinds of voters or find a different kind of voter right. to, to go and peel away. President Trump repeatedly tweeted his support of Handel in the days leading up to the race. Many viewed the runoff as a referendum on his performance. And a special thanks to the President of the United States of America. The president was among the first in his party to congratulate Handel, tweeting in part, fantastic job, we are all very proud of you. But anti-Trump sentiment made the race the most expensive in House history, with the candidates spending more than $56 million, nearly double the previous record. Weijia Jang, CBS News, Capitol Hill.